So this is the design I finally settled on. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of work in this file, most of which doesn't relate to this van anymore. Um, these here are my old cabinets from my old van. In fact, you can see a better version of them over here with measurements. Um, the fridge was in this pocket. Um, this is where my two water jugs go. These were are drawers now. My gas stove fits in this slot. These are the sections that go over the wheel well on each side to form the dinette. Uh, this is the, the lid. This is the table. Underneath those, there's a bunch of aluminum structure that allowed them to transform into a forward-facing seat for three people, uh, a bed, um, and uh, a dinette. Uh, anyways, that's old news. This is the new news. So what I've done here, a few months in my old layout, I now know exactly what I do and don't want. Uh, well, maybe not exactly. I have a better idea of what I do and don't want. Um, what I've done is laid the fridge out at an angle, which unfortunately encroaches on the bed to a small degree, only about three inches by four inches this corner. So how I'm going to deal with that in this corner of the bed, I'm not too sure yet, but uh, that's a problem for tomorrow, Eric. So if I rotate around here, you can kind of see the layout. I'm going with a rock and roll bed, but it's separated into two pieces so that one person can sit while another person sleeps. Another person can be sitting here while preparing to make use of the kitchen area a little bit better. Um, these are going to be drawers, essentially to replace all the drawers I have right now in my existing van. Up here will be my water. I've got a battery in there, but just ignore that. I was shuffling pieces around. I'm going to have my gray water and fresh water in this cabinet. This cabinet will be removable, so if I want to rotate this seat eventually, uh, when I do find a swivel that's low profile enough, I can turn it around and use it for seating. The fridge will go here. The back of this cabinet will be open behind the seat, so I can tilt the seat forward and store things in here. Things like the tow rope, uh, maybe extra supplies. This space here, I have not yet decided how I'm going to use it, but I likely won't have access to it without either pulling the fridge or removing some of these drawers. So it will probably be... Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what it's going to be. Um, this cabinet here, you can see these go up to the roof. This portion will be a hanger for any clothes that I want to bring along that I'll have to hang. I um, do like to go to nice events, so I want to have a jacket and a decent pair of slacks, pants, or jeans to be able to wear. Um, so I'll hang those up here. There's 39 inches from here down to there, which I measured my closet. Um, 39 inches will give more than an inch of clearance on the bottom from any of the jackets I have, so it fits quite well. Um, further in this cabinet, this is where the furnace is going to go, but this is the footprint it takes up. Um, so I want to fit that in. My only challenge is knowing where to drop the exhaust and intake that will come out of the bottom of the vehicle, and I need to make sure that there's no structural members or no suspension components that it will collide with. So this box will have to slide to make that work. Um, just so you know, each of these boxes here on the floor is a three inch square. That helps me when I'm visualizing what's going to go where and how much space it's gonna take up. Um, the rock and roll bed will also have headrests. Unfortunately, they don't come high enough to meet safety standards. Um, I could probably just build them and be done with it. I'm not sure I'd ever get pulled over just because these were where they are. Um, the height can't be seen through any of the windows. The windows have window tint on them. Um, but what I'm likely going to do is break this part separate, have a rod that comes down the center that I can then extend it up. This is the, the minimum where the headrest can be to, to meet legal requirements in Canada. And I think they're same in the US. And this is the top. So if I make that extend, this the length of this is about three inches, three and a half inches long. So I can easily make that work. But right now I'm just gonna leave it fixed for the time being and I'll make that another problem for tomorrow, Eric. The bed frame portion extends when you lift up the front bar 
I wish I could just grab it here, but they don't do animated graphics in SketchUp that I'm aware of. You pull this up, all of this then just stretches out. It's attached here and nowhere else. Inside, there's some structure I've added here that allows the seat bottoms to sit on this, which will take all of the structural weight of the person sitting along these bars. That way the hinges don't have to carry any significant amount of weight. This also stops when the person leans against the back. It keeps this from sliding around and makes everything a lot more secure. These will both be adjusted exactly to fit when I build the actual rock and roll bed. I'll tell you a little bit about the one inch bars you see here. Uh, they're referred to as 8020. It's an extruded aluminum and it's actually beautiful for this type of work because it's like Meccano but for adults. Um, I'm using the second smallest size which is the 10 series. It's exactly one inch. Um, the ends all fastened together. It's actually a really slick unit but it is not cheap. I think all told everything you see here to manufacture what I've designed in material of the bar and basic fasteners is going to be about a thousand dollars. When you consider the build time and how much faster you can move than in comparison to doing it with wood, um, I'll probably be able to build this in an afternoon, um, especially if the pieces all come pre-cut and all I am doing is putting them together. It's significantly better than wood in the sense that it weighs less than a half of what wood would weigh if I did the same thing and uh, it's all reusable. So if I decide to change my van around, I can disassemble all of these parts, I can reuse them, I can attach at ends where I've cut to make one longer piece. It's actually extremely handy in that sense. So this essentially is a tour of what my van will look like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if I'm doing this YouTube thing right, I think I'm supposed to tell you to thumbs up this video or something. So yeah. That too.